Greetings! This is Apocrypha from Apoc Industries, and we're here with episode 2 of Tundra Terror Factorial. Let's play. Uh, we last left off um, finishing our uh, first science, which was uh, the uh, getting assemblers. Uh, so now what we're going to do is start building assemblers. Uh, we are also going to need some inserters, so we're just going to get those rolling as well. Um, so I have uh, a kind of pattern that I like to build for uh, my initial um, automated things, so we're just going to get that set up. Uh, we also need to make sure that we are still feeding all of our machines. Uh, we will go out and do that in just a sec. Uh, first, we are going to get green circuits building because I really don't like handcrafting green circuits. And I can never remember the pattern that we need here, but I think something like this. Some boxes. And then we're gonna go we're gonna take from this box, put it into here, which is gonna be green circuits. Green circuits requires iron and copper cable. The copper cable requires copper plates. So we're gonna take one of these boxes, plop it there. Uh, we are going to put in some iron and copper, and those are going to start doing their thing. We need to take from the copper cable, put it into the uh, green circuit box, or green cir circuit assembler, and ta-da! We've got green circuits being made, which is great because I hate handcrafting green circuits. They take so many steps. I don't like it. Uh, the next thing that we want to be setting up or really, I mean, the first thing we should have been setting up is science, but um, I don't like crafting green circuits. So, uh, how many assemblers do we have? Two, that's enough. Uh, let's make our science here, let's say. Uh, so, we're going to use a similar kind of setup where we have like that and like that because these dudes take a copper plate and an iron gear wheel, which means that we have a setup like this. Let's get some more of these rolling too. Uh, take from there, put from here into here, and this, instead of outputting into a box, is going to output into a science lab. So when we go like this, those are going to start churning away, making red science. Red science is going to go directly into the science lab, so we will start researching our logistics. Perfect. Now I see that we have some problems here uh, with our uh, resource digging, so we're just going to come through here and make sure everything's topped up, uh, which means we're also going to go grab some coal. I'm probably going to bring that path all the way down as well, so that uh, we can come here whenever we like. These ones are alright though. Okay, so where does this, this path go? That's right here. Oops. Not there though. Um, depending on how I feel, we might fill in here as well, but I don't know for now. Uh, whoop, whoop, good enough. Let's see how our electricity usage is doing. So you'll notice that the uh, performance bar is kind of like spinning up and getting about halfway full. Once that fills up all the way, then uh, we start getting brownouts. <coughs> Nobody likes brownouts. So usually once my power usage uh, starts peaking at halfway, uh, the way that it is now, I like to double my uh, electricity production. Which, in this case, is a simple matter of adding one boiler. Um, easy peasy. We make a path through here. Let's do it. And we're going to add one more boiler. Um, so there we go. That'll stabilize our electricity usage for the uh, next little while. Um, and we 
we should also be building a couple more of these and a couple more assemblers. No, I don't want to be handcrafting green circuits, so we are not doing that. We've got so much iron. It's awesome. We also need to keep an eye on our uh, inputs to make sure that they are being kept filled. And now that I'm actually walking around in here, I definitely think that we are going to fill in this whole place with stone uh, or uh, bricks because it's a pain in the butt to walk on. For now, though, maybe we'll just do this. As I was saying, we're going to set up a couple more assemblers. Uh, the next thing that we want to make is, uh, uh, let's see, probably some transport belts. So let's do the same setup that we have already. We are also running out of boxes. So I'll have to make some more boxes. Boxes are pretty easy, though. So we also helps if we put boxes in the right spot. So we take one thing at a time. What do transport belts take? Transport belts take one iron plate and and uh, iron gear wheel. Um, for the iron gear wheel, we need to slap in one of these. This takes an iron plate. This is easy because it only takes iron. Uh, but we're going to hook all these up. And uh, a lot of times I would limit the total amount uh, that could be created. Um, but this is really going to be input limited rather than uh, output limited, so I'm not super worried about it. Um, what I am super worried about is how annoying it is to walk in to fill these up, so yeah. I am going to make a little tiny path that goes in there. Cool. Uh, so this is going to churn away on making us um, transport belts. And transport belts are going to allow us to start, uh, for example, bringing this coal up all the way to um, our power. It's going to allow us to start looking at electric mining. Um, oh, good stuff. And our logistics is almost done, which is good news. This kind of doesn't look good. What are we going to do here? I really don't like having to walk in the snow. Uh, this should have resources for days. This, we can toss in some more stuff. Let's get rid of the... Oh, no, we should be making a bunch of furnaces because we're going to need them when we make a smelting load. Uh, which reminds me, we need to make a decision about where we want to make our, uh, where to make our, where to make our smelters. Okay, logistics is done. Uh, next thing that we're going to get is military, because then we can get an actually good gun uh, in case we get biter attacks. Um, then usually I'd probably get turrets and then optics, but we're going to start with military. We are not doing very good at keeping our things powered, though, so let's do that better, shall we? Yeah, it's almost running out. Uh, I don't like using burner inserters for too long anyway, because you have to hand feed them. That's super annoying. Okay, and how are you doing? Yeah, I'll drop a little bit more coal in here. Our performance is still looking pretty good. Uh, probably not quite at the point yet where I would add uh, another set of boilers there, but we will at some point. Okay, let's start actually thinking about where we want to build our smelting. Oh, and build a radar. Uh, I'm actually going to build a couple of radars so that we can start um, Expanding, they, they will actually scan uh, slowly around us. And I'll put those radars right here. Right here. There we go. Uh, so, yeah, those will slowly start scanning around. 
and uh, reveal more area for us. Uh, okay, so in terms of smelters, we have some open area here we could use. This might be okay. Because uh, if we go up here, then we have to cut down a bunch of trees, and without nanobots, uh, that's going to be annoying. So yeah, let's do that. Uh, we're going to set up a smelting column. Not a big one. Um, you, I don't know if... It depends on how familiar you are with Factorio. But smelting columns can actually get pretty big. Aha! Look at this. Um, our uh, radar has revealed that there are some biters nearby, and you'll notice that our pollution cloud is getting close to them. That is a little scary, so I'm glad that we're researching military now. Um, the next thing that we're going to research is turrets, so that we can start planting some static defenses, because I am sure that we are going to start getting attacked probably tonight. Um, and we're going to need more uh, of that. Okay, next is going to be turrets. Uh, we're going to make ourselves a nice gun. One thing we're also going to do is set up the, uh, the box of how many lives we've had. Every time you die, uh, you respawn with a pistol, and pistol is useless. So I like to set up a box that has all of my pistols, uh, and that basically tells you which life I'm on. Right now, life one. We're doing well in Tundra Terror so far. Uh, it hasn't been too terrifying yet, I guess. Um, what has been terrifying is having to hand feed all of this. Oh my goodness. Are we for oh wow, we got a lot of bricks. Okay. That's awesome. We should start bricking more stuff. And you are empty. So we're going to move you over here and continue. Okay, so as we were saying, we're going to build a smelting column over here. Uh, what I'll do is I'll build a path that leads out there, and then we can worry about how exactly we set that up in a minute. So let's do that. We've got a lot of bricks, so we're going to make a nice meaty path. Leave a little bit of extra room in case we need to belt our copper around in a strange way. There we go. What are we going to be running into? Nothing about lots of things. We'll probably take the coal up over here, maybe? I'm not sure, actually. Well, we'll, we'll leave a little bit of extra room, anyway. Uh, next, we're going to grab uh, maybe optics so we can get some lights. These are from Afraid of the Dark, and I have never used them before, but uh, maybe they'll be handy. I have no idea. I like to grab bullet damage, though, because I feel like we're going to be attacked soon. Uh, we're going to extend this out a little bit more, and then um, just build ourselves a path that will delineate where our smelting column will be. And I can build a smaller path that leads over here to our smelters. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and these guys are still chugging away. Okay, Sam, I noticed that they're getting to be uh, a little bit more taxed, so I am going to go ahead and right away um, build another boiler and whatnot. Uh, the other thing that we need is a box and a burner inserter. Go blop, and blop, and blop, and blop, and blop. There we go. That's coal. And there we go. So now we've just doubled our electricity production, and that should be good for now. It also means we're making a lot more pollution, which is not so good. Um, but night hasn't fallen quite yet, although it's coming. Uh, so maybe we should actually make a couple of turrets. Wish I had something making gears. I don't like handcrafting gears either. Well, it is what it is. Uh, let's see if we can get in between here. 
Ish. Okay. Make sure that these guys are all filled up. How are we doing? You can have some more of that. You can have some more of that. Probably could stand to have another uh, science lab, but whatever. And we are full on belts, which is wonderful. Um, what I think I'll do is actually um, have this also output uh, into here. And now that I think about it, I'm also going to upgrade all of these into fast inserters. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe close enough. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Um, so this is going to take turns between uh, handing uh, gear to the uh, transport belt assembly machine and to the uh, gear assembly machine. That's fine. Uh, we're we're going to cap this at uh, 200 uh, gears, though, because we won't need that many, I don't think. Uh, in any event, night is falling, we've got a couple of turrets, we are going to place a turret, um, definitely up by our power production, because that'll be one of the first places it gets attacked. Um, I guess we should also consider making some ammunition. I will actually just set up a assembly machine for that, because that's what they're for. These ones, uh, the firearm magazines, they only take iron, uh, so they're super easy. Um, let's see, we're going to set up two of those. And the way that I like to do this is have... Wait, what are we doing? and putting in the middle if possible. There we go. Good enough. Not good enough. Good enough. We are going to have an input box. We're going to have some inserters that are going like this. And like... Somebody. Like... This, we're going to toss in some iron, which reminds me, I should probably go see if I can get some more iron. There we go. Uh, this will give us some ammunition, which is very nice to have, because you can't shoot if you have ammo. Um, not sure where else to maybe expect uh, the biters to be attacking, um, but what we are going to do is put a couple of turrets in places where we think that they might attack. Uh, like right around here is probably a good choice. They really like to go for radars. Uh, so, did we get some ammo? Great. We dropped some more iron in here, so we need more ammo. And you get. Well, not too much. Make sure all this stuff is completely topped off. How's our power doing? I should get a radar up here too, so that I can actually uh, see. Let's do that. I've got a lot of copper. Should be putting that in some uh, radar. And you, my dear, can go. Perhaps we can tuck it in back here. Is this enough room? Nope, that's fine. That is covered by that one turret, so that should be fine. Alright, uh, our radars haven't yet discovered any additional biters, and our pollution cloud hasn't quite reached over there yet, so hopefully we're still doing okay.
Um, so we're still set. Our primary goal here is to be setting up smelting columns. Um, so we will get to that. We really will. Did I not research lights? I didn't, did I? Let's get that it's cheap. And it's dark. So, got some gears. Got some more stuff. How are you doing? Probably need some more stuff too. Alright. I hate having to hand feed all this stuff, so we will be very quickly moving to having automated mining. Which means I should start building some mining drills. And we got lots of stone bricks, which is awesome. Okay. Uh, let me think now. We, for a uh, smelting column, we are going to need a whole bunch of inserters. We're going to need a whole bunch of furnaces, which we have. We have 94 furnaces, which will cover us for now. Uh, great. I'm going to set up another turret down here as well, um, just in case those biters decide to come down here to attack. Oh, we have completed that. So now I'm going to do this. And make sure these things are all the right way. There we go. Uh, yeah. Glad we're not getting attacked, but I'm also a little worried. Oh, one of these is empty. Okay. That's fine. We'll just leave it like this for now. Uh, we'll get the uh, mining uh, automated soon. Soon. Soon, soon. I'm going to have to look at power soon as well, but for now we need to think about how we're going to be <laughs> smelting things. And what I think we'll do is uh, we'll put a pin in it there. Um, we are uh, currently rolling with uh, some pretty good automated uh, utility stuff like uh, green circuits and science, very, very basic science, um, and some other odds and ends. Um, but what we really need is to get our mining automated, which is what we will do in our next episode. So thank you very much uh, for watching Tundra Terror, and I look forward to seeing you again. Till next time.